What's up, everyone? It's me, The Bean. You're watching Bean Screen TV. And uh, we're going to show you what this week's guitars look like. Check it out. So first, I'm going to show you uh, a day with a very nice couple. They wanted to chase tarpon around. And honestly, for the couple days prior to this day, the tarpon haven't really been biting good. So I told them at the dock I wasn't too confident on tarpon. Sure enough, we set up. Within three minutes of having the baits out, we got our first bite, and Dustin was hooked up. All right, we got tarpon number one on. Go ahead. Yo, Yay! there she goes, and there she goes. There she is. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful girl. So Dustin had about a 60-pounder on. There she goes. Yeah. Woo! Find it for a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All of a sudden, he looks over his shoulder, and he's like, "I think the next rod is about to go off." And he wasn't wrong. Oh, that other one's about to go. There it goes. Tarpon oh, on. Tarpon <laughs> number two on. Tarpon number two on. God. Now, neither one of them have ever caught a tarpon before. Go ahead and keep tight to yours. You gonna lift up? Oh! Oh! Look at that. Look at that. Hey, good day. I think hers is bigger. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I heard that. It's pretty cool to see a married couple both fight their first tarpon at the same time. Wind down. Oh, oh yours is a little bit bigger. Oh, it is. Real down. oh yeah. Here we go. Look at that. I know. No, you're good. You're Wind good. down. Oh! Oh! Big one. Okay. That's a big one. That's a big girl. <laughs> All right. All right. We got double header tarpons here. Look at that. Double there we go. Hearts. There we go. Oh no, I think it's too close. It looks so much bigger. <laughs> we fought both the fish out. Got a chance to get a picture of both the fish next to the boat. And it's all about seeing a smile on the customer's face. I was grinning from ear to ear as well. Double header, both got their picture taken. Safely released, they swim way happy. You guys wanna line up and do it again? Sure. Let's do it again. <laughs> 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 Let's, do it again. <laughs> Let's go do it again. So we reset, and it didn't take long to get that next bite. Dustin's next fish was slightly bigger, about like a 70 pounder. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! There we go. Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. We safely landed that fish and released it as well. Lined up again, got back on that buoy, put the baits out. Shortly after, Lexi hooked up to her first shark. I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit. All right, we gotta throw the buoy. We gotta throw the buoy. Still angry? Yeah, yeah. Let's go this way now. Oh. 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 Really? Big shark, huge shark. Feels like it. 
It's a giant shark. I can't tell if it was a lemon or a bull, but it's a big shark. And it was probably about like a six foot lemon shark, maybe 150 pounder. That's why it ran off so fast. Those things are quick. But well, he is hooked right in the perfect the corner mouth. Look at that hook. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that hook. And man, this thing was rowdy next to that boat. I almost got got. He's gonna do it. Here we go. The hook's Bean almost had one less hand he started the day with. And so I took a father and son out the next day. Hello. Man, oh man, we're having a tough day. It's like blowing 25 knots. It's a uh, complete mud hole out here. Uh, we're hooked up son big. He's yoking him in now. Muscle man over here. I told him to do his push-ups last night. He said, no, I'm just gonna save my energy for tomorrow. We'll see what we got. Maybe this fish will weight heavier than you. Uh, it's probably, that, that's not saying much though, if it's heavier than me. <laughs> now if it's heavier than your dad, that's a whole nother yeah. thing. <laughs> I'm guessing a shark. <laughs> ah, I was back. We're close to the leader here. I got these new gloves from Bubble Blade. They work great for leader up fish. So here we go. Let's see if we get a Oh, it just cut off right oh, there. Wow, oh my look god. That. Look at that. No! Right oh, here. Know. Right next to the boat. Just nicked his tooth. I mean, cut like five or two like no force. Wow. Look at that. Well, it was a mystery shark, but we know it was a shark. It cut us off, but you know what? We weren't going to give up. We put our baits out again, and boom, had one on. Can't see your guys for a shark, oh my god. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 look at that. Keep on reeling, keep on reeling that slack up. There you go, keep on reeling that slack up. Oh, there he goes, high five, buddy. Man, yeah, that's poor shark, little baby bull. Ken landed his first bull shark. Next, we have this really nice family to took out. I'm gonna go swimming in here. This is the last place you want to swim. It's St. Alligator Lighthouse. That young man, he horsed in a big old stingray. I mean, full grown southern ray, probably about 150 pounder. And that's actually a really tough fish to land on your own. He did a great job with that. Next, we got a couple young guys from South Carolina. All right, let's see it. It's a monster spinner. Almost immediately, they hooked into a giant spinner shark. Same jump like five feet in the air, corkscrewing. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's thin. Oh. It's really cool to see. Two colors there soon. There you go. Putting the heat on him. It's a big old spinner. Good God. That thing jumped out of water, fully aired out a few times, corkscrewing, spinning, and that's why they call them spinner sharks. All right, I had this really nice family from Virginia out. A big goal for him was sharks. We definitely uh, were in them that day. Really cool to see. We landed them. We brought some of them into both smaller ones. Check that out. Probably about like a four foot black tip shark. They got some speed and power, don't they? Yes, they do. All right. There she goes. While we had the shark rods out, I decided to put a live pilcher behind the boat too. We had a really cool surprise. A big Spanish mackerel, about as big as they get, came up and ate it. They got big, giant Spanish mackerel. Big Spanish mackerel. Oh, yeah. That's a big old Spanish mack there. Oh, my God. There he is. Look at that. Big old Spanish mack. Yes. Wow. Now we're grocery shopping here, fellas. Oh, that is sir. cool, man. Oh, man. That thing took off. Look at those teeth, huh? Let me see. Look at what like, oh, I got got. Oh, I got got. Look at those teeth on that Spanish mack. You got some bend in that pole. Don't know what we got here, but oh. it was peeling. Oh, what you got? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Definitely a challenge to land a fish like that on that tackle. Uh, Kobe had decided to show up, uh, ate that bait, and scoped up. Got to see him come up on the surface. 
and I was ecstatic. I was like, wow, it's a cobia. Cobia are part of the remora family. It's usually a fish that you see on the surface that you sight cast at. Usually they follow things like rays, sharks, sea turtles. All right, this is Julie's first fish, and we got a keeper cobia. They gotta be 33 to the fork. This one's uh, about almost 36. Man, that's just a cool surprise on the bottom rod, on the wire, on the big mullet, on the bottom. And what a first fish to have, a keeper cobia. All right, I'm gonna take that cobia throws to the kitchen, cook it up, show you how I do it. Check it out. So the other day, we caught my first keeper cobia as being a charter captain. And I decided to keep the throat of it, as you see right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip all these fins right here. You wanna get rid of that belly line there. I'll leave the skin on because I think it might get a little bit crispy. Some basil. You just get a couple basil leaves. All right, we got the butter's looking just nice right now. Fresh herbs with that, with that butter. Fresh piece of garlic. I'm gonna season this side of cobia. We got some fin and feather rub from Traeger, garlic and paprika. That side, gotta put a little bit of Old Bay on. Just got to. Just a little bit. A little bit of garlic salt. Just a little bit of pepper and then rub it all in. Just wanna put this face down in the skillet. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna put some seasoning on first. I'm gonna put some breadcrumbs on top of the, uh, the skin side. A real nice whiteness right there on the bottom, so almost oh, time to flip her. Look at that. So the skin is nice and crispy. The inside is well seasoned. Look at that, just flake off. The skin is the best part, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. Cheers. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching Bean Screen TV. Make sure you smash that like button till your finger breaks. Make sure you subscribe. Let's go fishing, let's go have some fun. I had enough, see ya. I'm trying to help you out, say 220, just left that at that. In case you guys want to witness, I'm about to get my finger bitten off. How do you flip it around? What? Oh, okay, sweet. Like oh. Fight it for three hours. What's that powerful? Dude, three hours? It's been six hours. Are you kidding me? Six hours. You rolling? Well, he just saw us. We saw him. He saw us. He didn't like it. Hey, look at these ugly guys from Charleston. <laughs> oh. If you want to know what someone does for business, you gotta look at their front license plate. Enjoy more beef, so there you go. You got the beef? Hey, no. Hey. Oh, oh no. You're never cleaning the lens. She's gonna watch this and kill me. Don't kill me, baby. I love you.